Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Hustle, the show where I show you how things in Feet Studios are made and behind the scenes stuff. Today, I'm gonna do something kinda cool. A lot of people ask me when I show them my cool story of tray animation, how do you do this? That must take a lot of time. What I wanna talk about today, it's not just me, it's also Philip Earl and Skylar Arnold. I'm gonna go through step by step, from beginning to finish, how I make the story of Trey animation. When I start a script, and when I make a beginning, and I have to flesh out what the entire story is gonna be about, I take a piece of paper, and I draw a circle. Um, there's pieces within the story of how the story should work, but I'm not gonna get into that. But basically, I break down each part of how the story is going to work. I always, we always, always have to make sure there's one particular plot and not two different plots next to each other. Sometimes that happens. That happened last time on the fifth episode, no, the sixth episode I'm working on right now that hasn't been released yet. I made the first draft and we realized there's two different plots next to each other. We had to make it more direct into one ideal plot. So stuff, things like that. Yes, there can be subplots like, oh, this guy does this on the side, but it has to link together by the end of the shoot, by the end of the whatever story you're telling. So once I got the breakdown ready, I flesh it out on the computer. I use a software called Celtic and I use a software called Celtic, which is free. You can get it off the internet, and it's a certain way you write your scripts. And I use this for movies and all my live action, all my animation, everything that's a story. Not the fee shows or anything like that. Mainly the storytelling. Don't worry about how your screenplay looks. You can just do it on Google Docs if you're starting out. But make a good screenplay. And make sure your story is concise and direct. So once I got the screenplay all fixed up and ready to go, I call up my friend Phil and say, hey, the screenplay is ready. I need some voice actors. And he brings Skylar, and then I get other voice actors to help out where I need them. And they come over, but then we don't usually voice act right away. They look at the script, they say, oh, we need to fix this, that, and the other. And I have videos of the hustle of us just working on scripts. It takes a long time to fix, make the perfect script. And don't, and another thing about doing scripts is you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to edit it too much that it, and revise it too much that it just gets sloppy after a while. So yes, we write together and we work on the screenplay together. We note things, we say, oh, this isn't good, this isn't accurate, this wouldn't happen in real life. We get tired because we're so done with revising the script, we usually don't even get to voice acting. So we come over on another day, and then we do the voice acting. And that is where the voices for Story of Trey come, no shit. So we do the voice acting. Are you sure about that, Trey? Man, this party's packed with people. Don't call me that. I'm gonna show you guys a whole scene, a whole frame, a whole three seconds of a footage of how long it takes for me to edit in this next part of the video. So, the couch that you see in the background that they're sitting on is a separate drawing. The, the lamp that they're next to, it's own drawing. The, the counter, it's, um sitting on that's its own drawing even the pupils that's its own drawing so um you'll see that but uh so this is the drawing you see it doesn't have a mouth because i'm gonna fill that out in and through the animation but yeah, when i make this drawing this is how i do it it used to be different in the older animation but i got an illustrator so now it's better but this is how i do it I go to win window image trace and I like to do black and white logo. It does that. Object expand. Okay. So and then once I got that, 
Oh yeah, and it's really easy to see it when I go to view show transparency grid so that way I can see the transparency. So then I can just delete the background and there, voila, that's how I can make an actual frame that goes into the animation. And so to make it not black and white, I have all these colors saved, these shut up Gia, these particular colors in Illustrator. For example, oh, come on library. Come on, okay. So that's the color right here. Trey's hair, that, that's the yellow for Trey's hair. But yeah, you can color it whatever you want. And then I do command save. So once I got the colors and all the frames I want colored in, and then I do the keyframing. So I don't always make a new, and every single frame isn't new. So a lot of the time, most of them, pretty much all of them, are reused frames. So I don't have to draw all. Every single arm has been probably used in an earlier frame before this episode. So I don't have to like keep drawing another arm. Joe, leave Ethan alone. What? I thought he knew he was stupid. You can see his mouth doesn't move yet. We'll animate that in a second. But I'm thinking Trey's arm should move when he talks. Joe, leave Ethan alone. So, I'm going to fix that. I can go like, and I got all these frames saved right here. I got it right here. And I'm going to go like, Trey Fisher. So you can change the anchor point. I need to change the anchor point to where his, the, uh, arm moves so I just do that and then I can go like boop and put his arm where it's supposed to be and then and then uh, shrink it to appropriate size and then his arms like that so I'm gonna make it go like close to where it was like that And then, for the mouth, you see it as a right here. I have a method. Yes, a method to how I make him talk. So that's the M sound, right? And I have a whole, wait, a whole catalog of every single mouth and blink and pupil movement right here. So the O sound. What? O. O. So yeah, it takes a long time. You have to go through each individual mouth movement. That's basically the gist of my animation and how I do it.